Hey everybody, Stephen Bonacore, the pod father of gaming. And I'm doing this little video series on the Icon of the Seas, which is one of its inaugural voyages. And I stayed with Paula in 12352, one of the brand new Sunset Corner Suites. Was it worth it? Is it as cool as it sounds? Let's go check it out. As I mentioned, it is at the corner and it's right next to all the rooms that are at the back back of the ship right there. But we are in this corner suite, the Sunset Corner Suite 12352. We're gonna go right in here and I'm gonna give you a good view. So when you walk in immediately, you're gonna get this very bright area here where you can hang some clothes in a full length mirror. I ended up putting all of our luggage right here. We're actually on the last day. We're we're out of here. It's very sad. We're checking out. This is a great place to put luggage, though there are other places you can do so as well. And there I am in the in the full length mirror, which is a perfectly lo perfect location. You have this area here for storage. As soon as you walk in, right over here, this is full woman's wardrobe, as you see. Ms. Paula's stuff is here, plus more room on this side, plus the drawers below. So you have plenty, plenty of storage right there. I guess we'll go to the bathroom next. Why not? And I apologize for any mess. Like I said, we've probably, should, I wanted to do the video toward the end so we could show everybody, you know, the entire thing and, and I can give you an opinion on everything and how I enjoy this. The beautiful robes. By the way, these robes are new. They've got hoods on them. They're like boxer's robes. They're big, they're beautiful, they're luscious. Uh, bathtub, tiled, shower, very, very, very good. You know, those great products that Royal Caribbean, um, they're Malin and Goetz, Goetz, I don't know how to pronounce that, uh, German company, and the bathroom is spacious. So one thing is interesting, and let me see if I can back this up a little. I can, look at that. I can back this up a little bit, you see my products there. Yes, I use a lot of products for a man. Um, you have two shelves here, and it's in the open. There again. But I like this much better than it was before because, you know, those, those um, doors that were on here were always banging into you and stuff like that. So this open, while it looks maybe a little messier, it's actually much more functional, so I like it. Very bright in here. Two sinks, of course. You have under counter storage as well along here. The towels are at the bottom. And Miss Paula, of course, has all of her makeup in here. As I said, we're about to be leaving. It's so sad. We love the cruise so much. Uh, and here's the desk area. Now, because the desk was half used as a bar with all that water, which we didn't use, I didn't use it as a desk. Though there is a an actual kind of desk-like area that you could you could use there. Um, so I did most of my editing and things from this little table that I'll show you in a section. All of this below here is more, uh, more drawers and storage. You can open it for you if it makes you happy. There you go. These are drawers. Here's my clothes for tomorrow on the way out. Okay. And here is the, of course, the bulk of the room, the, the large spacious area. Now you're going to notice there's quite a bit of area here. I really was impressed with the amount of space that they gave you in the sunset corner suite. Any mess on that bed is because I was lying down before. The housekeeping, of course, Sebastian was our state room attendant. He was amazing. Puts the little uh, uh, slippers there for us every day, both sides of the bed. They were different colors. We even knew which ones was which. which. Look at this little guy that we got today. A penguin? Very adorable. Uh, bed, big, TV, huge, fantastic. Don't watch TV. Go do things on the ship. A lovely uh, sitting area uh, with a couch there. You see that handle there? Nobody knows what it's for. It's not a trundle bed. You can't pull it out. I don't, maybe you pull it from the wall, but if people have been talking about that, that is not something to actually use. Don't ask. Sebastian gave us wine glasses all the time because we are wine lovers and we do have some nice wines over there. We're going to bring one of those for dinner tonight. Uh, actually had so many drinks from our Diamond Plus drinks that he didn't drink much of the wine that I brought. Um, 
I brought two bottles to the cabin. You're only allowed to. But our friends brought two, and they don't drink wine. Ha ha. I, they were, it was my wine, too. So you, I'm, I'm, I'm focusing in on, on those plugs. Why? Because in most ships, finding plugs is out of control hard. Here on the Icon, you've got plugs all over the place. You've got plugs on both sides of the beds. You've got USB ports. You've got everything. Ah, there's some of my nice wines. I think we're going to take the Fleury Passion tonight, though that um, Silver Oak is calling me. Uh, 2016 Silver Oak is calling me as well. Little, um, I was using this when I was sitting uh, on the couch a lot to put my coffee here just to hang out. This is a beautiful book showing you the art of the icon of the seas for those who want to just take a look. Um, but again, great area. This is the, um, the mini bar, the fridge, cooler, whatever they like to call it. And men's wardrobe. I mean, men's, women's, it's, it's the same. But this is the one I used. You can see my computer bag there. It's my sandals for tomorrow on my departure. We live in Florida, so sandals are like part of our life. All right, everything else is packed up. Swinging around over here, this is a controversial point. So that's like the only actual table in the room. It's tiny. I mean, it's um, coffee table size table. because that, That's a fairly large chair right next to it. Now, I did my recordings there. I recorded my podcast there. Uh, board Games Insider, some of you know that, and it sufficed, they actually took the little ottoman that's underneath, that comes out, I put it next to it, and I was able to to move my mouse on that, because uh, I have a very large portable computer, but not having a full-size table, maybe a little thing, but not so much, because you get all of this room when you don't have a big table, this room is much, much larger than a grand suite. Okay, so that would be a comparison uh, to this suite. Now, going out here, the piece de resistance of the Sunset Corner Suite. As you can see, we are underway. We have just left Coco Cay. Literally within the last, I don't know, 15 minutes or so, Coco Cay is back over there. Now you can see it back there. This is the... The point for having this room, period, full stop, the balcony. If you like balconies, this is the room you want to have. So you've got a love seat here. I'm going to turn, I'm going to go all the way here to the, this door, which is not part. This would be the next cabin. We saw 12354, which is the next cabin. That's a regular sunset suite, not a sunset corner suite. This is the, the room, if you like the balcony. Check this out. Past the door I just came through, a very nice table that, you, that we used every day to have a little breakfast. I love ordering a little breakfast in the morning, just a little bit, get the coffee going, love the coffee. Forgot to mention that Lavazza that was in there. I use that thing extensively. I'll talk about that on the way back in. But here, did you notice I just wrapped around? I'm now on the port side of the ship, and I've got another 20 plus feet of balcony all the way to the next um, stateroom that would be there with one lounger. Would have been better to have two lounges, but we never actually sat here. I actually stood here quite a bit looking at the shore, looking at other ships, waving, you know, as people do all the time. So this part, of the Sunset Corner Suite is really why you're gonna have this. If you love a balcony, you want the Sunset Corner Suite. It's the biggest balcony of anything that's not like a royal suite. This is a star class, by the way, I'm, I'm sorry, this is a sky class suite, not a star class suite. You will pay a, a lot for it. You won't get the star class benefits, but you will get all of the sky class benefits which are great we um normally our go-to suite is the owner's suite on most ships we wanted to try this one out we really really loved it i love the therapeuticness of watching the wake of any cruise liner hope you can hear that beautiful rushing of the water we got a bridge tour too 
Uh, I can't post videos from the bridge tour, that wasn't allowed. Uh, but I have posted pictures on my personal page, Stephen Bonacore. If you can find that on Facebook, you'd see it. I might do a montage of stuff and put that on the YouTube channel as well. I'm coming back in now. I'm going to swing around so I can close the door again. Keep that air conditioning going. Just beautiful. Again, look at that. Look at that view. Closing this up so we get that air conditioning going. And I'm going to swing back around and maybe point out, as I mentioned... Look at this bed, by the way. It's just it's just really beautifully appointed, right? I mean, the the lines that they use that run up the the wall, the lighting across. You know, it has uh, controls. Day like you can you know morning, evening, go into evening mode. Oh, how pretty, how nice. Let's go back to morning mode. Let's open this. <laughs> get the lights back on in here. It's a little warm in here, isn't it? Um, the Lavazza coffee machine. If you're in a suite on many of these ships, you get one of these. Boy, do I love these things. And the first thing I do when I meet the suite attendant, they say, bring me lots of pods and don't bring me too many of the decaf pods. The blue ones are the decaf Deca. I love Lavazza. Fill it up with water. Have your coffee here in the morning. You're going to love it. They didn't calibrate the machine perfectly, I noticed. Because when I hit the large button, you put this here, you hit the, you put the pot in, you hit the large button, it fills it to the absolute brink. Like, you literally can't carry it because it's so full. I think that there's a setting. I know in my Nespresso machine, there's a setting that you can make it a little less so that it doesn't overflow the, uh, the coffee. But that's it. So... Let me give you my final thoughts on the Sunset Corner Suite. So, my final thoughts on the Sunset Corner Suite, on the Icon of the Seas. Thumbs up. Really beautiful. It's going to cost you. This was, this was the most expensive cabin I've ever booked, I think. I mean, the Icon is charging too much, maybe. Maybe. Uh, and this was a very, this was on the level of, uh, the owner's suite a little bit above maybe of that or very similar, but they were really charging a lot for this because there's two of them on the whole ship, right? There's one on this side. We are on the, uh, port side and there's one on the starboard side. And between us, there's four just sunset cabins. We loved it. We absolutely loved it. Um, plenty of outlets, if that matters to you. It does. Um, plenty of space. Should matter to everybody. Um, maybe we could have used a larger table here. Maybe. But I'm not going to nitpick that too hard, certainly. It's not a negative unless you absolutely need a seating area that's inside. A, a dining type area. And this balcony. And this balcony is to die for. You're going to want to spend time out here. You're going to want to spend the sunsets out here. Actually, the sun rose a lot on this side as we're coming in. We got the sun coming in. And then we would get sun on the side as we're kind of leaving port. Icon of the Seas, Stateroom 12, 352, the port side, Sunset Corner Suite. Two thumbs up from the podfather of gaming, Stephen Bonacore. Like and subscribe, please, to the channel. Even if you're not a board gamer, as most of my fans are, you're going to still enjoy some of the content I post because I'm going to do travel content, space content, like as in Kennedy Space Center, where Floridians, we go there all the time, and things like that. But you'll also find out about board gaming, and I bet I'll get you and your family into board gaming too. Take care, everybody. Like and subscribe to the Podfather Gaming YouTube channel. So we get back to the room after dinner on the last night. My, my, my good friend over here, the, what is he? Paul, what is he? He's a, a penguin. Adorable, it's the first time we've ever seen a penguin. But sitting next to the penguin is a cucumber mask thingy. Very different. I've never seen this kind of attention to detail. I mean, this is a really kind of cool thing. I, I don't know that I'm going to use it. Maybe Paula will use it. She's here. Um, they've also given us lip balm, specialty lip balm, little gifts like that. Paula, was there another thing? Uh, shower bomb. 
and a shower bomb where you smell it as you're taking your shower. Lovely. But anyway, I just wanted to point out these little extra attention to details that you're getting. Maybe in the icon of the seas only. Maybe in sky class. Maybe in the sunset corner suite. Not sure, but kind of cool.